Well, I'm aboard Sequester tonight, and the reason for my visit to the boat this evening is to stay on board until just after dark to keep cormorants off the boat. Up there you can see my mizzen mast and the horizontal spreaders. And on top of the spreaders, there are pieces of plastic wire tie sticking up. Those are supposed to keep the cormorants from landing there. And they worked until last week when the cormorants decided that they could land there anyway. And when you have cormorants on your boat, they leave souvenirs that you don't want. I came out here a couple days ago. There were two cormorants on the spreaders there and one right up there on the top of the mast. That's 30 feet above the deck. I had the same thing on the main mast. Two cormorants. I did not have one on top though. So five cormorants all together and five cormorants can, in an evening, can pretty much coat your boat. And it is not a pleasant job to clean it up. So I'm here to keep them off the boat until just after it gets dark and by that time they will have all settled for the night and I won't have to worry about it. So here's my neighbor, a little 30-footer named Wind Maiden and he had a couple cormorants on there last night. They didn't make a huge mess, they didn't stay long, but as you can see he's got a lobster float caught in his rudder which is keeping the boat uh, skewed to the wind and I think I might row over there and pull that out just to uh, be nice to him. Well that's better. You can see the lobster float there, that uh, red, white, and green one was hooked up between the rudder and the aft end of the hull. I had to turn the rudder and pull the lobster float forward past the forward end of the rudder to get it out of there but it's out now and he can swing freely. In addition to just doing it because I thought it would be a nice thing to do, uh, given the wind direction, there were times when our boats were only a foot or two apart and I really didn't want to uh, have the two boats banging into each other. So he's free now and should be okay. This lobster boat is the local preferred cormorant roost for the evening. If you look closely, you can see, I believe, five cormorants on there now. They're usually about seven to ten. And there's one flapping its wings up on top. And not too many around tonight. Maybe a good night. Oh, there's another one heading for the boat. You can see it. Oh, just flew past. It's going to swing around and try to land. There it goes. Uh, didn't find a place. So it will look for another spot to land. Maybe try again. Here it goes again. There it is. Oh, no place to go. So that one is one that I'll have to watch out for. It might decide to take my boat as an alternative. I'm looking east now at the uh, boats in the outside of the mooring field. Last night I counted 16 cormorants on boats out there. Right now there are 13. So there are a lot of them out there. Not so many in here right now. Part of that's because the season is winding down already here in Maine on August 28th. See there are a lot of empty mooring balls. Two weeks ago, most of them were occupied. You can see as we look up harbor, not much up there. What's happening is people who spend the summer here are headed home and have arranged to have their boats hauled. Here's a cormorant coming in. Oh, it's going to try. I ah, didn't go for it. Smaller boats don't have very much space between the mast and the stays, so cormorants, which are pretty good sized birds, 
don't fit very well, so they often won't land on smaller boats. Here he comes, he's gonna try my boat now. There, we got rid of him. Here's a family of ducks swimming by. These are probably mallards. They're pretty common around here. Just swimming across the harbor. One, two, three, four. There are six of them. And it's pretty quiet. Friendship Sloop on the next mooring over. And as I said earlier, the harbor is starting to thin out as the summer people go home. In two weeks, probably 30% of these boats will be gone. And in a month, probably 75 or 80% of them will be gone. I usually stay in until late October. Although it depends on the weather, if we have a tropical storm come up this way, that usually triggers me to get the boat out of the water. You can see a few cottages along the water. These are all owned by what we call summer people who come up here for the summer or rent these by the week. I don't know any local people who own a waterfront cottage. Another one of the trials of spending the evening aboard the boat, watching about a 45% moon rise. Okay, looking east again, getting fairly dark now, without the Polaroid filter. And I'm just a couple minutes away from leaving the boat for the evening to go home and settle in at home. From the time I climb in the dinghy until I get home will be about 25 minutes. Split about halfway, half and half between driving and rowing back to the dock where I keep the dinghy. So, another pleasant evening aboard my sailboat here in Southwest Harbor, Maine, on Mount Desert Island. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did tonight. I only had to scare off one cormorant, which is great. And I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow night, and the next night, and the next night, until the plague of cormorants is over for the season which hopefully won't be too long. So if you enjoyed this little interlude, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.